Hey everyone and welcome back. We're going to be talking about how do you pick a typeface. But the first thing that comes to mind when I'm thinking about picking a typeface is the emotion of type. Now that may seem like a weird way to think about typefaces because, you know, typefaces can feel, but they definitely do have their own mood or personality. Now the mood of a typeface is a very important part about how it should be used. You'll notice that some different typefaces have strikingly different moods. Some typefaces are very formal or traditional. Others seem more light and modern. And a lot has to do with the way that that typeface has been designed. You know, sometimes it could be that there's a lot of contrast within that typeface like we saw before. Or sometimes typefaces just have really distinct moods like we've seen in some display typefaces. For example, let's think about Times New Roman. It's pretty much always a traditional font and some typefaces are a little bit more transcendent and they can pretty much convey almost any mood. And when I think about that, I think about Helvetica. So when I'm looking for typefaces for a specific brand or purpose, I think about how it could represent that best. Some typefaces could be perfectly suited for a fintech company or a bakery, or like the Swedish furniture company over here that we just came up with before. Typefaces can really help to represent and reinforce the voice of a brand. Now, let's see how we can choose our own typefaces based off of a mood in a couple of different scenarios. We're gonna jump right into the Figma in our next lesson.